Hey, yeah. Don Homai at Pasco Farms. All right, number 13. Lucky 13. As you can see, he's got a big pus head. Oh, he's probably been scrapping with his mates. So this is a metal halter. Why do we use metal halters? Well, primarily because it's a shitload easier to clean. Secondarily, they're nice and strong for big boys like him. Hey, hey good son. Hey, good. Need to get this clip without getting me fingers bashed. There we go. Cool beans. Little quick release fit. Oh, yeah, wait, hang on, Jake. All right, it's going to bring it in here. Feedback through the little loop on the bottom, so you got to be careful. Hey, hang on. It's not such a little loop here on the bottom, we can go through. Nope, oh, no worries. Get all that up under there. Come here, Sonny. Come here, 13. Be good, son. Right arm. Little beans. I can release this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me get that on it. So we want to make sure that that's possible. Could be a hematoma. Sometimes we start off with hematomas. Fashion, fashion is mate. Seeing who's the top dog. Stick a needle in it. Some people say like, it's funny, like people are like, oh, you should put, a, just put some lignocaine in there, but there's nowhere to put it, guys. Oh, oh, look at that. Creamy goodness. You can, if you'd like, you can spell your name out on a bit of cake. Oh. All right, so we need to lance that and flush it out. Alright, so there's going to be some ooby jooby gets and it's on his head, so we got Gooby strain on him. So we'll just clip up the area where we're going to lance him. So when you lance an abscess, you want to go ventral. What does ventral mean? Well, down as low as you can. So he's got a little pocket here and he's got a pocket here. So I reckon we're going to make two, two incisions on the guy. Spot there and there for a little tender administration. A little surgery. Surgical scrub. Scrub up me human gloves. Not a big fan of landfill waste. We got this lovely barrier it's called skin. It keeps infection out. As long as you scrub yourself beforehand and afterhand. The most common comment I get on these freaking YouTube videos is, "Where's your bloody gloves?" But um, look, if I, was, if I had something that I could give this bull, or this bull had something that he could give me, I'd probably wear gloves. But look. I've been lancing these for years. Longer than most people have been watching these videos. And, uh... I haven't got cooked on it yet, so. That's where we're gonna try to go in. And the reason we wanna go in here is we want this later to have somewhere to drain. We're gonna leave those open. Again, there's nowhere to put lignocaine or anything under there because this is bulged out skin. There's just an obliterated space behind that, so there's nowhere to actually put lignocaine. We're gonna stick a needle in there. It's the same as sticking a scalpel in there. So we're just gonna get in there and get her done. We're also then gonna flush it out with a bit of a, a bit of water and betadine afterwards. So we've got that all ready to go. Pump that out. Got that fresh water over here. Right. And we'll give some antibiotics and inflammatories and put some fly spray on it because Australia is the land of the fly. Unlike New Zealand, where they don't have snakes, spiders, or flies. <laughs> so why the fuck do you come over here, brother? <laughs> Should have stayed there in the fucking promised land. The key to this is to be nice and quick. Want a hole big enough to let that all come out? There we go. Oh, that's the good shit right there. So it's probably started out as an abscess. I mean, as a hematoma. Turned into an abscess. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> so again, we want these big enough to, uh, big enough to have good drainage. Yeah, so in humans, we get zits, right? 
you know, you get your mates to pop it and pimple poppers show it. It's all cruel and all that stuff. Cows, because their skin's so bloody thick, they get abscesses. Because it takes forever for the skin to get, for the abscess to eat through the skin, because their skin's so bloody thick. So they end up with these massive abscesses, which is pretty wild. <laughs> Have a look at that. <laughs> you know, like pudding. You just want to kind of volume dilute all that, all that guff. Yeah, do you mind pumping that, bro? Just a little bit of disinfectant in there. We're just going to try to dilute, dilute down all this stuff. All right, you're, you're all right. You're all right. Pump away, bro. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're all right, big fella. Down. Go. Go. Seems like a real waste, doesn't it? That looks kind of like it's useful for something. One of these days we'll figure it out. <laughs> Remarkably, it's good for some folks that like to see abscesses get popped. Good job, you funny. Today morning for Jack Oh, I started a YouTube channel for a bunch of vet students because they said, "Oh, you do some pretty cool stuff out there. Can you post some of it on a YouTube channel?" Like Cody Krillman, who's a legend. <laughs> yeah, sure. We can kind of show some cool stuff, hopefully some kids will learn some stuff. You gotta put that on there a little bit tighter. Might get the bug in a red brother. There you go. Pump away. So I use my hand to kind of occlude the exit as it's filling up with, uh, with this bit of water and disinfectant. So I can see how it's kind of swelling up again. Because we want it to kind of volume, we want it to kind of pop again, but this time more with water. it around again we're just trying to dilute this the body will do it this will clean this up itself when i'm brake testing i come across an abscess normally i just lance it and keep on trucking because really it's just looking for an egress and given time this would have burst but it would have made a hell of a mess but now that we've made a nice opening for it it'll resolve a heck of a lot quicker madness <laughs> I'm going to eat a cherry cheesecake later on. Uh, y'all got a good stomach, Mike. Alright. You're going to look so much better. I don't reckon the cows would have let you shake. Chase them around if we had to fix this up. Alright, brother. From a pus head to the cover of freaking bulls quarterly. We'll do the rest. A bit more in this one, buddy. One more practice, buddy. Yo, beauty. Thank you, bro. So again, my friends, my pupils, ventral, so down low, so that if this should fill up a bit, if it's got a bit more drainage over the next few days, it's got somewhere to egress. And a bit of antibiotics, a bit of anti-inflammatory, so we're going to hit her up with some alamycin, a long-acting um, oxytetracycline, and we're going to give her a mock scam, which is uh, a, uh, a medium-acting anti-inflammatory. A couple of those, get a purple spray on that wound, keep the flies at bay. Most Aussies just cover themselves with this purple spray every morning. And uh, a couple needles, <laughs> and he's off to the prom. <laughs> hey!